ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਅੱਜ ਉਸ ਸੱਜਣ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਅਸੀਂ ਬੈਠੇ ਆ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਸਾਡੀ ਸਿੱਖ ਪੰਥ ਦੀ ਸਿੱਖ ਕੌਮ ਦੀ ਹਰ ਨੌਜਵਾਨ ਬੱਚੇ ਦੀ ਰੋਲ ਮਾਡਲ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਅਸੀਂ ਲੱਭਦੇ ਸੀ ਉਹ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਰੋਲ ਮਾਡਲ ਮਿਲ ਗਿਆ ਆ ਮੇਰਾ ਮਨ ਇਸ ਟਾਈਮ ਭਰਿਆ ਹੋਇਆ ਕਿਉਂ ਮੇਰੇ ਵੱਡੇ ਵੀਰ ਆ ਹਰਜੀਤ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਸੱਜਣ ਉਹ ਇਹ ਹੀਰ ਟੂਡੇ ਦੈਟ ਸੇਮ ਰੈਜੀਮੈਂਟ ਦੈਟ ਸਟਾਪਡ ਅਸ ਯੂ ਸਰਵਡ ਇਨ ਦੈਟ ਰੈਜੀਮੈਂਟ and today we have an official apology um your service to this great country your service to your gursik faith um so why guru ji ka khalsa why guru ji ki fate um haji what is the message to the children or the youth canadian youth sikh youth uh because we are sending this message to the sikh qaum right now um i would say is uh, that anything is possible um be proud of who you are um uh be confident in who you are confidence is one thing that i think is extremely important um and if you have confidence inside you can achieve anything um and it's uh it's something that you can easily say but it's hard it's hard to, to develop um but w- if you work at it and and look at a goal that you want to achieve don't pick a goal that you know you can achieve or you might achieve go beyond that because i think uh, uh um if our if this history of kumagatmu has taught us anything right it's just that it's pick goals beyond if you look at we we kind of talk about the story of kumagatmu of when the ship arrived but let's go back when they actually started to make this choice that that journey it was you know people thought it was impossible but they found a way right so that's that real story that even though the ship was turned back look what they what they went through look what they had to figure out right where others couldn't go that that distance they did it wasn't a failure of what they you know that they went back it was a su- success that they got there it was a failure in our government at that time to allow them in but their success has opened the doors for many others and not just here in Canada it has inspired a story and the confidence for other people around the world so that's the story that you really what we really need to be talking about and uh i mean there's a tremendous message in this but it also shows the evolution at least within Canada how quickly we can learn from our mistakes um our prime minister showed tremendous leadership to say that the laws are made in this house and the apology should be in this house and today was that day he lived up to that promise oh he so definitely lived up to that promise he also mentioned your name in that speech what was going through your mind and your you then thode andar andar ki ho matlab chal raha si when he mentioned you um you again uh gursikhi de vich apan nu apa har vat nimrata ch rehne ha we guru sada vadda ya but still jithe guru sahab sanu ek kadam tor de ha ਉਹ ਉਦੋਂ ਉਦੋਂ ਜਦੋਂ ਸਾਰੀ ਵਰਲਡ ਇਸ ਟਾਈਮ ਦੇਖ ਰਹੀ ਸੀਗੀ ਫਾਰ ਥਿਸ ਅਪੋਲੋਜੀ ਵਾਟ ਵਾਸ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਥਰੂ ਯੂਰ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਐਟ ਦੈਟ ਟਾਈਮ ਵੈਨ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਹੀ ਸੈਡ ਦੈਟ ਯੂ ਪਲੇਡ ਅ ਮੇਜਰ ਰੋਲ ਇਨ ਥਿਸ ਅਪੋਲੋਜੀ ਆਈ ਵੁੱਡ ਸੇ ਦੈਟ ਬਟ ਅ ਨੈਸੈਸਿਟੀ ਸਟ ਗੋ ਆਪਰਚੁਨਿਟੀ ਸੀ ਟੂ ਪਲੇ ਥਿਸ ਰੋਲ ਐਂਡ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਜਸਟ ਵਨ ਆਫ ਥੈਟ ਅਦਰ ਮੈਂਬਰਸ ਆਫ ਪਾਰਲੀਮੈਂਟ ਡਿਡ ਦ ਸੇਮ ਥਿੰਗ ਬਟ I look at it as not me in this role it could, it could have been whole could be easily ho sakta si um i had the fortunate uh opportunity to be the commanding officer of the regiment and now being the minister of national defense um that's what it is that i look at jira chota je niyana sega and koma gatta mere right you look at that ji that where that didn't where what could have he have been je athe kanda jinda and that's the real success right it's is as, uh, as tragic as that was that sacrifice everything that they did has inspired so i i part of thing a powerful message we need to really look at here when we go through adversity we can let it bring us down or we can let it empower us and that's what that incident uh, is about so use those times of adversity and learn every time there's a challenge go pick a higher goal anybody tries to let you tries to prevent you from achieving your goal i've had all i've had this uh, very uh, stubborn rule you try to prevent me from reaching a goal i will then pick a higher goal wow. 
And uh, uh, to be honest, uh, I think uh, because of that, there are certain goals that uh, people prevented me and the reason why I stayed in the military longer and, and, and did things and why I'm even in politics. I didn't like the division that was being happening in Canada. The Prime Minister, when I met him as the leader of the Liberal Party, saw him, he's a great leader and a uh, person who wants to make a difference. So did I. He's building a team who wants to make a difference. And I, I will say this. Never underestimate a person who wants to make a difference. And I think this is very true about our Prime Minister. Right. How many under, people underestimated, underestimated him? Yes. But he wanted to make a difference. But now if you have a group of people and you build a team of people who want to make a difference, you become an unstoppable force. And that's what you have. And I've always been fortunate, whether a police officer or in the military, that's the group that I was even part of. And now I'm part of a team in, in the same way. How has those changes been, that journey been from, say, high school to becoming a police officer, drugs and gangs unit, uh, military man, then that same regiment that, you know, did all this to us, and now a political figure, and now you're known as a rock star too? And a role model. Yeah. I mean, you you're, you're become... Uh, because of your work ethic, because of your what is that cheat? No, it's, it take the take the jobs out of it, right? Okay. Take the roles out of even now, and go back to what we uh, what I said about wanting to make a difference. And when I talk to the y younger generation, I was talking about is focus on that, answer the question why you want to succeed, right? N not not the how, because if you can answer the question why it's important to succeed, the how is almost automatic. You will find a way. Early on in life, I realized was you wanted to make a difference. As a cliche as that might, may sound, that's I, from the time that I served in the military to the policing, and even now, it's just that. So regardless of what role that I played, I just I look at it as I wanted to make a difference, and these are the roles that kind of evolved, how it kind of ended up here. It wasn't that I went to seeking each one, and and and, uh, and I can put hand on heart to, to say that uh, opportunities came up because I wanted to make uh, make a difference. I had the opportunity to serve, and now is just that. My position is temporary. I have to look at, I have a short period of time to make a difference, and my goal is uh, to do the best job at, that I can. But what I really want to do is inspire um, Canadians, regardless of culture, and inspire Canadians to look beyond our borders, because I've dealt with conflict all over the world. Regrettably, since I graduated from high school, that's all I've been doing. And when we answer the question why, it has to be beyond uh, uh, Canada's borders. It's about making a difference for the rest of the world because the rest of the Canada needs more, uh, sorry, the rest of uh, the world needs more, more of Canada. And I really believe in the bottom of my heart that the generation that's coming um, below us, they're far smarter, they're far wiser, um, and they're innovative. And the reason I say this is because the technology, they're connected. You don't have to wait to wait a newspaper what's happening in the world. They already know that. And but my only challenge to them is, okay, what are you going to do with this gift? Mm -hmm. right? um, it's up to you now to make something of it. You, every, I, I strongly believe that every human being has a gift, uh, a gift that contributes to the rest of the world. Uh, some will find it on their own. Some will need mentorship to find it. But once you find it, is what are you going to do with this gift to contribute to others? Because if you, if you do that, your success is almost automatic. And, and a paycheck just shows up because you, you know, otherwise you just love what you do. If it becomes work, then you need to uh, find something else. And uh, we need to help the, the, peop uh, the unfortunate. There are a lot of people out there who are dealing with far more uh, difficult situations than we are. And regardless of how difficult our lives must have been or uh, in the past, uh, or what we have gone through, we need to be able to do more. And when you go out and help others, um, uh, you will find that automatic success. I know we're sh running short of time. My last question to you is, we are a generation in Canada mm -hmm. as being Sikhs, mm -hmm. Indo-Canadians, South Asians. What is the word Canada and what does it mean to you? What is Canadian now? Uh, Canada, honestly, is, t I look at it as, we can look at it from the definition of a, of a country, but Canada to me is more about uh, uh, a land where um, uh, it's of immigrants. Unless you're, you're uh, one, part of the First Nations community, 
sorry, you are an immigrant, regardless if you came here 10 years ago or 100 years ago or beyond that. But Canada is, is an opportunity. And it's tragic, to be honest. The First Nations community, when you learn more about them, they have a phenomenal lesson to teach us to the, today. And if we had taken some of the rallies early on, uh, we, we, uh, we may have even looked at the rest of the world differently. So the, their connection to, to, um, uh, to the land, and I think we have a, our, uh, from our culture, we have a very similar yes. connection as well. But they have given us an opportunity of how you treat one another. And if it, um, we need to learn more from them and how we can be engaging with the rest of the world and bring that Canada out. And so when I look at Canada, it's not just us as immigrants and what we have, success. It's about what we've created. Uh, and to me, Canada is, is a place of universal values where you can put hand on heart to say that regardless of what cultural background, um, gender, sexual orientation, if you work hard, you can reach the highest level of any office in this country. That's what Canada's about. Uh, one more question, just, uh, it would be the last question. Um, Sikh values, a lot of people say Sikh values and Canadian values are the same. What is your take on that? It's, you know, we, we try to make it Sikh values or other religion values, Canadian values. I think good people, we can just call it universal human, humanistic values. That's what it comes down to, right? Um, when you're just a good person, it's not about, no one has a monopoly on these values. I've seen the same values in other countries. So is it be, just because we define it with a border that it's their values? It's not, or a religion. It's, um, you know, I always say it's not, it's not what, you, what you believe in. It's your actions in life that really counts. Those are the values, how you practice it. So don't just believe in them, practice those. Um, um, look what uh, we need to look at. We, when we talk about our religion, God is one, full equality. We need to put hand on heart to say, are we really um, practicing that in our community? And the answer is no. And, and our prime minister has demonstrated that, again, uh, that example in our cabinet. So when we talk about our values, let's not just talk about them, let's practice them. And as parents, we need to make sure that our uh, children learn that. And we have to be bold, we have to teach everything. I'll even go as far as um, um, saying we need to make sure our children learn, um, our, my son needs to learn more about the equality of women. My daughter needs to have the confidence to be able to stand up in a, in sometimes in a man's world. But I need to teach my son more of these things. As I take my wife and I, we take our kids to the gay pride parade so they can see uh, that as well, to, uh, to get them to understand uh, things early. If we really want to be, uh, talk about these values, we need to practice it. And if you want to look at what Canada's about, guess what? We can practice that here in our nation. And through our example, we can help other nations who are dealing with some of these policy challenges. It's amazing. You are an amazing, you're an inspiration.